We're stuck with these horrible laws. They're horrible laws. What's happening is so sad. President Trump placing the blame on Democrats after his administration continues to separate families at the border. There's absolutely nothing true about the fact that he cannot stop border prosecutions. He can stop border prosecutions today that require the separation of parents and children. Immigration attorney Leon Fresco says this is the first time in U.S. history that this country is prosecuting adults coming to the border with children. At least over the last two decades, what you've seen is that the only people who get prosecuted for illegal entry to the border are single males or people who are, confiscated, who are uh, prosecuted with drugs. Still, Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen doubled down. Until these loopholes are closed by Congress, it is not possible as a matter of law to detain and remove whole family units who arrive illegally in the United States. Fresco points out this policy is not fiscally viable long term and is one that Congress has not even budgeted for. Those facilities cost about $600 a day per child and then you have $150 a day to house the mother. If you had the most sophisticated electronic monitoring system, that costs $15 a day, period. So you'd have $15 a day electronic monitoring that keeps families together or $750 a day. Key Republicans are lining up against the president's separation policy. This as he prepares to meet with them here on Capitol Hill on Tuesday. Why is this meeting so significant? Because House Speaker Paul Ryan has repeatedly vowed he will not bring any legislation to the floor for a vote without the president's support. The problem is we have two big factors working against us. We have the timing of the calendar and that it's so close to an election year, and we have a trust deficit that is very, very difficult to overcome. But I think the concepts are there for a deal. In Washington, Samantha Joe Roth, Spectrum News.